We have a new beauty launch that I'm very excited to try today, and this is from Milk Makeup. It is the Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Setting Powder. I'm about 70% done my makeup, which is why I'm looking like a little egg. Um, if you watched my last video, I talked about transitioning to talc-free and um, non-pore clogging ingredients. So I'm really excited about this powder because it is talc-free. It says it is a translucent setting powder made with lentil extract and bakuchiol to control shine, set makeup, and blur pores for a soft matte finish. It comes in four different shades. They're all translucent. This is translucent light. There's also medium, deep, and very deep. Let's go ahead and open it on up. I always try not to ruin the packaging, but this is like kind of stuck. Okay, here we go. We have the little shade right there, and here is what it looks like. This, by the way, is retailing for $32, SephoraMilkMakeup.com, all the usuals, and, okay, I don't wanna break this. Okay, this had a very tough seal on it, but you unscrew the top, and here's what the inside looks like. This is perfect for travel. We have like an open and a close right here. Also, sorry, my nails are like a hot mess. They're not done. So it looks like you turn and then you have um, the little dots here to get the product out of. It does have a sticker on it. So let's take that off. Let's see if we can do a satisfying ASMR moment. Nope, not satisfying and I lost a lot of product. <laughs> Okay, again, here's the lightest shade. Um, it's pretty fine milled powder, and you could tell that this um, formula is just like really, really soft. You can see on the back of my hand here. I'm tossing some concealer under my eyes so that we can then set it, and I'm gonna set how I normally do. So I use a powder puff under my eyes and then a brush for the rest of my face. I also, by the way, use all makeup that I'm super familiar with and that I typically use this way. Um, I can see how this works. It says it is 16 hour wear, so we'll see about that. I'm gonna dump a little bit into just the cap right here. I'm gonna take my little powder puff in the corner that doesn't have any powder on it, dip it in, and then I'm gonna go right underneath my eye. Whoa. Okay, this definitely a little bit goes a long way for sure. <laughs> Wow, I really like this so far. It has no scent, which is awesome. Um, I recently had to stop using the Huda Beauty setting powder because of the fragrance and um, trying to get my skin back to normal. I'm gonna let this sit for a hot second um, and just show you that it is 81 degrees out right now. Going to be 86, so, and I'm gonna be running around like outside today. Um, so we will really put this to the test. I honestly feel like I'm already sweating a little bit because I turned my AC off for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and take just a big fluffy brush into the rest of the powder that I have in here and then just kind of tap it on how I normally would. I'm gonna see how long this will last and try to do like no touch-ups throughout the day. It says that it blurs pores, fine lines, controls shine, makes you all smooth. So I wanna put that to the test. This will probably be a fairly quick video after this cause I'll just do like a check-in at you know midday and then end of the day and tell you guys what I think. But so far I'm loving how finely milled this is and it feels really, really soft. I had to turn the AC on because it is getting hot in here. I finished off with the rest of my makeup. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just brush this from underneath my eyes. It honestly is already making me look like super awake, super bright, so I'm loving that. It does feel like I'm wearing absolutely nothing. It says it's weightless, so I could definitely feel that. Oh, I gotta fix, I got mascara on my nose. I gotta fix that really quick. Um, quick honorable mention, by the way, the Tarte Man Eater, specifically the waterproof mascara, is unreal. I have like one coat on my lashes, it's so good. I usually don't have a favorite mascara and I just like run through whatever's in the drawer, but this one has been my fave. I'm gonna go fix this spot on my nose and then be right back. Here's the final look. I'll probably stick my hair up because it is so hot out today. I wanna show you kind of up close what we're working with. I feel like it did really smooth out everything really, really well. So we'll see how it looks a little later. It is currently 11.44 in the morning. Um, as I mentioned, I did kind of a natural look today because I'm running around, I'm taking the dog out. So we will really be putting this to the test. Um, here's a quick before 
and I'll see you in a bit. We are exactly six hours after applying this makeup and I am beyond impressed with how it is wearing. As I mentioned, I was outside today, probably for like three or four hours, um, just like running around with my dog and you could see just like a tiny bit of shine, but really not much. And I've done no touch up, touch up. So you can see my lipstick is like totally gone. So yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this so far. It feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing. Um, and yeah, here is kind of like our little midday check-in. In the bathroom for my final check-in of the night, it is 10.04. This makeup has been on for a little over 10 hours. I would do a full 16 hours, but I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep with my makeup on if I try that. Um, but I do feel like I pretty much got like the full experience of this powder. I will 100% keep using this powder. This might be my new go-to compared to other talc-free powders that I've tried. This is like way, way above, like not even comparable. I have combination skin, so you can see like a little bit of the oils coming through but really not a ton considering how long this has been on and the fact that I have not touched up my face, have not done anything to it. So yeah, this is the final check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.